a different kind of video. Cars will not make you happy. I'm about to explain why. But first, we are going to get some Chick-fil-A. Hello. I'm I have a mobile order. That's me. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Unfortunately, at this Chick-fil-A, you have to check that bag before you leave. Spicy chicken sandwich with that Colby. Y'all need to get on these cheeses, man. Just FYI. They could have melted it a little bit. Dang. Now, don't get me wrong. Nine out of ten times, they get my order right. But recently, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's new staff or... Well, I can't say management because... No, I can say management. It's the owner who typically never changes. So, yeah. All right, let's go get some park action, shall we? Okay, I can explain. I'm only making a pit stop here at this Texaco because it's the only one in like a 30 mile radius that has wrap snacks. They're so good. They're also so bad. Out of all these flavors, nah, nah, super nah. These are undisputed best recent modern lap snacks. All right, now it's time for the park. I love this place because it's so quiet and it's like really tiny. I think I see our spot. Probably get some swing action in a little bit later. All right, let's talk. Cars will not make you guys happy. And I had to learn that the hard way. It's true. People with money, they often say it. People with a lot of cars, it, it's not, um, I'm not saying that they're enjoyable, but I've owned like several cars and bikes in the past. And yeah, they'll give me like a splash of joy for like, a moment of time but it's not my source of happiness and it shouldn't be yours either so make sure you kind of take that with a grain of salt i want to focus on three things today i guess it's kind of a mukbang mix too <laughs> but number one cars should absolutely not be your source of happiness number two do not let these youtubers fool you the ones with access to nice cars and whatever and money and stuff like that. And number three, car should be a bonus to your happiness. Like it should not by any means be a foundation to it. I'm about to explain why right now. It cannot be your foundation of happiness. That's really going to come from within. It's kind of cliche what they say, but it is true. Me personally, I'm a believer. And my true happiness is really providing for my, my family, being there for my friends. The definition of happiness for me is relationships and community. Again, it sounds cliche. I've owned multiple cars, bikes. I might even give you some pictures up here to peep at a little bit. And, um, yeah, all in all, just to find out, they'll give you like happiness and burts and spritz throughout your life, but it's never anything like long lasting. So even right now, you guys know what I got. Got the Model 3 and it's a fantastic car. It definitely has made me happy and it makes me happy during certain situations. Psych! But again, I'm not putting it first because it's just another material thing. It's honestly just, honestly just another bucket of bolts. It just looks really cool, it drives itself, and it's battery powered. I noticed that you have to be happy in the first place to enjoy things, especially that's non-material. And you'll actually, you'll get to this headspace one day, you actually realize like, wow, I got all this money, I got all this clout, all this status, all these cars, and you realize, wow, I'm not even happy having it all. Because once it goes away, that's pretty much it. That's why I want to go back to um, families, friends, and community. That is forever. That is the only thing that really truly matters at the end of the day. 
And I just want to spread that message to you guys, especially the younger people watching this right now. That actually leads me to my next point. Do not let these YouTubers, I mean, there's a few of them I'll watch as well. And I respect them and I respect all the work that they do, especially when it comes to reviews and the lifestyle and things like that. But keep in mind that this is a very, very, very small percentage. I know they get views. I know they have a really good following and audience. Um, and that's them. That's them and their chapter and their life. I guess what I'm trying to say is don't make them or don't let them feel like you're being left out of anything just because you don't have a super expensive Lamborghini or Porsche, Ferrari, whatever the case may be. And they got to, they get to go to all these events and travels and things like that. Hmm. Actually, don't get cheese on my spicy chicken sandwiches that often. This one is slapping. But yeah, don't don't let them depict like, hey, this is the life people are supposed to live, and I'm supposed to have this, and I'm supposed to have this car at 20, 25, 30. Oh, I didn't get my Ferrari yet, and I'm 50 years old. Bro, I'm telling you, that stuff does not matter. Stop falling into the trap because I have. I'm just relating to you. Oh, hit my mic on accident. Anyway, don't fall into that trap. That's their chapter. That's where they are. And honestly, yeah, they, they get these opportunities and stuff because they put in the work. Again, I'm not downing them or anything like that, but they can give you the illusion that you are missing out on so much. I know they make a brand new car every like three months it seems like it's just one new car after another especially with the exotics and anything over what like eighty thousand dollars don't feel like you're being left out um a friend of mine told me he broke it down to me really well and he was an older gentleman you can have all these cars and whatnot but you only got one butt so let that sink in for a minute. Um, just to give you a little spoiler, what that means, you might have all these options available to you, but you only have one butt at the end of the day. You can't drive all these cars at once. And honestly, if you're at that point to where you can afford all these cars, more than likely, unless you've been born into money, you're essentially going to be working for your cars or car collection. So don't get it twisted. If you have five, 10 cars, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of upkeep and maintenance. You're not going to have time to actually enjoy anything you own unless you stick to like one or two cars. That's just the, the truth. Now, it's actually funny. A lot of the friends I know with cars and money, they'll actually swap them out every six to six months to a year. If they really like them, they'll, they'll hold on to them for a couple of years, but they all have that same exact mindset. A car is just a material thing. It's it's an object. At the end of the day, it gets you from point A to point B. And if you want something different, hey, maybe leasing is for you. Maybe renting is for you. You don't have to go and, well, obviously, I think that's a dumb decision anyway. But some people with money, they'll tend to buy their cars outright with cash. And that's cool. Do what you need to do. But if you like being on a rotation with cars, and you know you only have the capacity to drive like one, two, three cars and I actually enjoy them, then I might, that might be for you. But again, don't fall into this trap, man. I'm Point number three. Cars and honestly all other material things should be bonus points to happiness, to your happiness. Just like I said before, your foundation of happiness needs to already be at a certain level to where you're just happy in general. Like, for example, if you even get like a like a new shiny car or whatever it might be and you wreck it the next day and you, know, you come out of the accident. OK, or if someone just vandalizes it, whatever, you cool. It's just a bucket of bolts, man. At the end of the day, you're safe. You can go. <coughs> Cars can be replaced. You're safe. You're still happy. Your family and friends are thriving. Things that actually matter are still okay. Whether you have that fancy shiny car or not. <coughs> <coughs> it's 
spicy chicken sandwich went down the wrong hole, man. Oh man, that has <laughs> that has never happened. I'm like a Chick Fil A connoisseur, platinum member, and all that. Dude, that that was rough. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But anyway, build up your foundation of happiness and fulfillment. That can be following Jesus, believing in God, serving your community, providing for your family. Um, that can look like a whole lot of different things that are not involving materialistic stuff. You'd be surprised. Um, if you can really have an impact or an influence to people, you'll probably most likely find that more fulfilling in the long run and over time, even in general, than, again, having all this stuff. So, for example, I want a BRZ. I've been wanting it for years now. Still don't have it yet. And that's honestly because I'm trying to be a little more smart with my money. And... I think I'm in a position in my life where I'm really like honing in on what actually matters. Again, I'm a believer. And so I'll read the Bible scriptures. There's a there's one that stuck out for me. It's been sticking out to me for the longest time. You cannot serve both God and money. That's what it is. Here's the Bible verse right here. And what that means is if you put the Lord first, He'll give you exactly what you need and what you want. Um, and honestly, that's another conversation for another day. I know this video has nothing to do with actual cars itself, but what you want might not actually not. It's probably not even a want to be honest. And actually, what we do, too, is we turn our wants into needs and we don't really need that at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But again, if you're following Jesus or interested in following Jesus if you look to him first he'll give you what you he'll give you what you want and that's just the truth so I'm a living testimony of it all this stuff that I didn't even want or prayed for I have and it's actually kind of surreal how it all works I'm telling you I know it's strange but try it out I hope you enjoyed the little mukbang action and me choking on my chick-fil-a might even give you guys some bloopers on the end for sticking this far but just to reiterate man reiterate just to reiterate cars won't make you happy if you're having a rough day already before you even go to work that car is not going to make anything better so again work on yourself work on your mental work on helping the people you love that's what's really going to give you true foundational happiness at the end of the day I promise you. Yeah, you guys are bugging if you don't think I'm about to get some of this swing action. You don't come to this park and not swing. That's sacrilege. But yeah, hopefully I gave you guys some encouragement. It's not everything. Cars are just one example of a thing that won't make you truly happy. Again, it'll do it temporarily or on the weekends. Um, but yeah. If you like this, you know what to do. Check out other stuff on the channel. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Bye. I wonder if we can, like, make pizzas in that thing or something. I could probably totally do it. Spicy chicken sandwich going in today.